Hey everybody, welcome to Cook With Me. I'm Mary, your hostess here. And today we're gonna to be making creamy Caesar chicken. This video was kind of impromptu. I was making this for dinner and I really wanted to share it with you. So I was cooking and holding my camera with the other hand. So it's a little bit shaky here and there. This recipe is so easy. You only need four ingredients, chicken, Caesar dressing, Parmesan cheese, and sour cream. We're gonna get started by trimming up our chicken. I just like to trim up a little bit of the fat and then I'm cutting it in half lengthwise. Here you can see I have it all ready to go. The creator of this recipe just puts the chicken in a baking dish and pours the sauce on top, but I wanted to have a little bit of crisp edge on my chicken, so I am using our outdoor griddle to get a nice sear on the outside. You can do this inside in a pan if that's easier for you, but for me, doing bulk cooking, this makes it much easier. Or you can just skip this step and go straight to the baking pan. It's up to you. As you can see, the chicken is getting a nice sear on the outside. I love that golden brown color. It just locks in the flavor of the chicken and keeps it so juicy. So while these are finishing, I'm just gonna grab my baking pan and give it a little bit of a spray. When I took my chicken off the griddle, I flipped them upside down to put cheese on the underside. So when I put them into my baking dish, they're gonna be face down in the pan and then I can coat the tops with Parmesan cheese as well. Give it a nice coating. Do not add any salt to this recipe because the cheese and the dressing will make it salty enough. We're gonna make the sauce for the top of the chicken now. So we're gonna take our sour cream and we're gonna add in the Caesar dressing and we're gonna give that a good mix to combine both together. It's time to add this delicious sauce to our chicken. You can just pour it over the top and then spread it out if it's easier for you, but I had the camera in one hand and the spoon in the other, so I wasn't able to do that in this video, but definitely that's what I would have done if I had my tripod set up. So now I'm just making sure that all the chicken is coated with the sauce and then we are going to just top with some extra Parmesan cheese. This is definitely a cheesy recipe. I love it. At this point, we're gonna put it in the oven for about 25 minutes. If you didn't par cook your chicken, it'll probably take about 35 minutes, depending on the thickness of the chicken. The last 10 minutes or so, you're gonna to wanna to put it under the broiler so that the cheese gets all ooey gooey and bubbly. On a side note, if you're using a glass pan, be sure to put foil around the edges before using the broiler so your pan does not shatter. I'm going to be serving noodles with this, so here I have a pot of water on and I'm just gonna add some salt to the water. My footage of cooking the noodles was corrupt, so you're not gonna be able to watch me do that. But here I'm just sauteing some fresh garlic, butter, olive oil, and parsley in the pan. Now I add in my noodles and I'm just seasoning with some salt and some pepper. Give it a mix so that the sauce is covering the noodles. I wasn't sure what to expect when I tried this, but guys, it was so delicious. My kids loved it, my husband loved it. They all went back for seconds. So this will definitely go in our rotation for dinners. If you think you wanna give us a try, I'm gonna leave the information in the description box below so you can check out the recipe there. And if you do decide to try it, please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching and I look forward to the next video. See ya.